fixing these problems. So this is your example 22.5 in Kumi textbook. So read the question. The following data apply to a outside cylinder uncoupled to locomotive. What you see in the last problem is inside cylinder. This is an outside cylinder uncoupled locomotive. Mass of the rotating parts per cylinder is 360 kg. Okay, this is your M1. Mass of the rotating parts per cylinder 360 kg. Mass of the reciprocating parts per cylinder is 300 kg. Angle between the cranks is 90 degree. Crank radius 0 0.3. Cylinder centers are 1.75 meter. This is A. Okay. Radius of balance mass is 0.75 meter small b. Wheel center lines are 1.45 meter apart. The whole of the rotating and two third of the reciprocating. Two third is your C. Of the reciprocating parts are to be balanced in a plane of driving wheels. Find magnitude and angular position of the balancing masses. Speed in kilometer per hour at which the wheels will lift off the rails. When the load on each driving wheel is 30 kilo Newton and the diameter of the tread of the driving wheel is 1.8 meter. So, what does this mean? Your uh, train wheels are 1.8 meter in diameter. Okay, he is asking you what is the lo load on each wheel, weight of the engine on each wheel resting on each wheel is 30 kilo Newton. So, at what speed will your hammer blow cause the train to lift off the track? That you are going to find out. Swaying couple at the speed arrived in the above two equation. What is the, what is the, you are arriving at a speed here, right? What is the swaying couple at that speed? These are the questions. Okay. I, I believe all of you have understood the question. Let's move on. So, given data, uh, mass of the rotating parts M1 360, reciprocating parts 300, uh, crank angle between the cranks is uh, 90 degree, uh, engine center line distance 1.75 meter, uh, radius, uh, what radius is RB? I think this is RC, not RB again. RB equal to RC equal to 0 0.7 meter, 75 meter. So that is your uh, small b. Okay, because A and D are engines. Inside is your wheel. So uh, this is your small b, balancing mass radius. Okay, next. Uh, two third of the masses are to be balanced. Uh, engine crank radius is 0 0.3. Equal and mass of rotating parts to be balanced. Person, this you know how oh, entire rotating mass plus C into reciprocating mass. That is your uh, single uh, approximation mass at the crank tip. That I am going to calculate. Okay. So M M1 plus C into M2 or MA plus C into MB. Whatever some some formula you put everything. 360 plus two third of 300. 560 kilogram of equivalent mass is to be balanced, rotating mass is to be balanced per wheel. Okay. Position of planes diagram. So, first is your A, B, C, D you draw, where A is my cylinder, wheel, wheel cylinder, outside cylinder locomotive. That you have to keep very clearly in your mind in this problem. Okay. So, wheels are not visible from the outside, only the engine cylinders will be visible from outside. So, because it is the outside cylinder locomotive. Okay. So, now I am going to declare, I am going, to, I have to eliminate one of the unknowns. Only then I can calculate, right? So, the balancing mass magnitude and direction is the first question. So, one of the balancing wheels, the balancing masses are mounted on the wheels. Therefore, declare one of the wheels as a reference plane. You can declare any one of the wheels. So, take right side as positive, left side as negative. Okay, mark the distances. So, this is your uh, 0.15, 1.45, 1.15. Okay, so distances from the reference plane is what is required for your calculation. How did I write this? It is given in the question. Okay, so the distance between the engine center lines is 1.45. Uh, I mean, wheel center lines is engine center lines is 1.75. If you subtract the remaining 300 mm, will come out of that you put 150 mm here and 150 mm here. So you have to read the question very carefully. So for reference plane distance, what will come? This will be 1.45. This will be 1.45 plus 0.15, 1.6, and this will be 0.15. Okay. So that's what we are going to use in calculation. Keep very clearly in mind. So total is 1.75. So force and couple calculation. I am going to do the tabulation first. Okay. So A, B, B is reference plane. C, D. So first is your mass 560 equal and mass. This is unknown, unknown. Again 560. Radius of rotation, crank radius is given 0.3. Uh, small b. Radius of rotation of the uh, balancing mass is 0.75. It is given in question. Okay, so 0 0.75, 0 0.3. Now multiply it 560 into 0 0.3, 168. This is 0 0.75 MB, 0 0.75 MB, uh, MC. This is again 168. 
okay so distance from the plane b so first one minus negative direction okay look at the reference plane marking on the top of the position of planes diagram so now when i am going to take this as my reference plane whatever is on the left i have declared as negative therefore this is 0.15 minus 0.15 should come okay minus 0.15 multiply it and write then b is your reference plane so distance is 0 c is plus 1.45 D is 1.6, right? So 1.45 plus 0.15, 1.6. You write it here, 1.6. Now multiply everything. Minus 25.2, 0. Minus 1.08 MC. This will be something 268.8. Okay. So now let us see the number of unknowns of everything and then angular position diagram. So first is my two engines I have to draw. First is the engine A. Second is the engine D. B and C are unknown. Okay, so 90 degree portion only I know. So second is uh, 0.3 meter, second is D. A and D are engines 90 degree apart, it is given in question. Only that I know. So therefore, I am going to stop that, uh, stop this my angular question diagram as of now. Uh, only this I can draw now. Next step we are going to move on. This 90 degree right angle. Okay, put a, uh, if, you, if I do that line, it means it's 90 degree. Okay, choosing the polygon to draw first. So out of this, look at the unknowns. I have two unknowns in this. But I have only one unknown here. So, therefore, I am going to do the couple polygon first. So, compare both the columns. Uh, fourth column has two unknowns. Couple column has one unknown. Therefore, I am going to do the couple polygon first. Here, same procedure. Whatever you have done the rotating mass problem, same procedure. Take the couple polygon tabulation and the angular position diagram so far you have. Take it. Now, first thing, look at the horizontal direction is transferred. What is the distance uh, for A engine? Okay, so A is negative, so you have to do the diagram from right to left, minus 25.2, scale I am going to take 1 is to 2, minus 25.2, okay, so 25.2, 12.5, 12.6 something, okay, so somewhere around uh, 13 or 14, so divided by 2, 25.2 by 2, so in the reverse direction you have to do, arrow mark should point to the left direction since it is negative, all the other things should try to point towards the right, okay. So next thing, A dash, O dash, 25.2 in negative direction. Okay, next D. Because you don't know the uh, B and C direction, B has become 0, C is unknown. So choose the D, D mass, 268, vertical direction, go to the point A. Don't do it uh, from O, it should be done from A only. Okay, so point uh, 26.8, so 1 is to 2 scale, it comes around 26.8 uh, by 2. Uh, 26 now 13 some somewhere around uh, 134 or something millimeters okay it will come 268 so 134 13.4 millimeter i'm doing i'm doing a line vertical upward pointing arrow because it is positive okay so now close the polygon d dash 268.8 close the polygon what is the direction arrow mark same sense arrow mark you follow for the balancing mass shortcut for that okay so now uh, 1.08 MC is the third row. Okay. So now one, one thing is eliminated. This thing is not there. This is not there. Zero. Okay. Therefore, first you have drawn this. Second you have drawn this. Third one remaining is 1.08. So therefore, this is 1.08. Now you take a scale and measure the length. So length comes around 134.95 meter. I mean 95 millimeter. 134.95 millimeter. Do the scale conversion. So it comes around. 269.6 is the uh, uh, couple kilogram meter square value. Okay, you reverse the scale. Don't forget to reverse the scale. Okay, so 1.08 MC is 269.6. Therefore, mass of C is 249 kilogram. Clear? Are you clear what I have did? I have measured the length, multiplied by 2 because you have divided by 2 and draw all the lines. Drawn all the lines. Now, when you are finally measuring the length, you have to multiply by 2 to get the answer. That is equal to 1.08 MC. <coughs> so therefore, MC equal to 249 kilogram. Angular position. <coughs> take this polygon and do it as it is. <coughs> Since you have done the same sense arrow mark, do it as it is. And you have to measure the angle. Comes around 275 degree. <coughs> now I know both magnitude and direction of the balancing mass on the wheel C. Okay. So, fourth polygon. To find out the value of uh, B, I am going to do the fourth polygon. Take the updated angular position diagram and the fourth column, start doing the polygon. So, 
so start from the horizontal a <coughs> one is to two scale i am going to use again 168 is the a a column a row force value so 168 by 2 will be some 84 so do a 84 millimeter uh, dot okay and everything is plus here so rightward pointing arrow put an arrow pointing in the right direction next is your vertical d value of d in the first follow the angular position diagram direction okay don't look at the table next is not d follow the angular position uh, sequence so after a in anti clockwise you are going to have d after a i am going to have d value of d you look in the table it's 168 again same value okay so therefore you will get uh, uh, 84 put the scale in the vertical direction transfer it here so 168 16 84 so i put a 84 dot do a vertical line upward pointing arrow mark a d <coughs> upward pointing arrow now go for the third direction your uh, balancing mass c direction transfer the uh, direction here scale and put it at the point d okay so it is this polygon is looking very odd it is coming outside unconventional uh, polygon okay now what is the value of this column c uh, 0.75 mc what is the value of mc 260 249 kilogram so multiply that 0.75 into 249 is 186.75 the value of force by the now we have to divide that by 2 and do this line so one uh, divided by 2 is 93.375 for the scaling factor okay so 93 millimeter you do put a dot around 93 millimeter and do a line so that is your third line direction c i mean uh, polygon for force polygon for uh, force for vector for the mass c put a downward pointing arrow mark because your force is pointing towards the mass here this vector only i have lifted and placed here okay now close the polygon okay now arrow mark same sense arrow mark you follow for the balancing shortcut okay so now what to do now points on by mb the unknown only unknown here is the mass of b so this is points on me this row okay this is known since mass c is 249 i know this this is known this is known only thing i left is points on by mb measure this length multiply by the scaling factor and then equate it okay when i am going to measure this length it comes around 93 or something 93.975 is the book answer you can put 94 or something whatever you get in your scale okay actual length multiply that by 2 186.75 uh, 0.75 mb is 186.75 mass of b is same 249 kilogram i am getting again by calculation only i am not writing as it is you cannot simply write assuming same masses on both the wheels you should calculate and prove that they are same okay for mass of b also i am getting 249 again okay <coughs> so that completes the first question uh, magnitude and uh, completion of angular position transfer this angle to the angular position diagram same left side arrow you follow put it here so it comes around measure the theta it comes around 174.5 degree <coughs> can be 170 to 180 okay right plus or minus 5 degree is fine so now I, have, I know the values of both magnitude is both the magnitude of balancing masses mass of b and mass of c is 249 kilogram uh, direction of uh, b theta b is 174.5 theta c is 275 degree taken an anti-clockwise from horizontal a first question is over okay so now results i am going to sum up this uh, th th that's what I told now. 249 kg for both the cases. Direction theta b is 174.5, theta c is 275. Okay. So now, uh, speed at which the wheels will lift off the rails. Hammer blow calculation. Okay. Given load is 30 kilo newton per wheel. So diameter of the wheel is 1.8 meter. Okay. So let let us declare omega as the angular speed at which the wheels will lift off. I don't know this value. I'm going to calculate the omega. Okay. Corresponding linear velocity of the engine is v in kilometer per hour. Okay. Keep that in mind. Now let us proceed. Balancing mass per wheel 14, 249 kg. Out of this 249, only the reciprocating portion will cause the hammer blow. Now that is what is going to lift your wheels off the track. That portion you have to calculate first. Split it and find out how much. Okay. So C into M2 by M into 249. Two third of 300 kg reciprocating masses. Two third of 300 kg divided by how much mass you have actually uh, assumed at the tip. Uh, entire uh, rotating mass 360 kg plus 2 third of 300 kg was calculated to be 560 kg. Now this 2 third of 300 divided by 560, it comes around 89 kg. Okay, therefore out of the 249 kilogram uh, balancing mass you have added, only 89 kg is for your reciprocating mass. Remaining entire thing is for 160 kg is for 
rotating masses only okay so this 89 kg mass is only going to create this hammer blow effect clear now uh, we we have derived this formula yesterday out of from that b omega square b this will come so if b omega square b b omega square b is equal to limiting condition load of that load on the wheel then this is the limiting condition for the wheels to lift up the track now from this you derive a formula for omega so you will cross multiply divided by b into b square root for omega into okay that is a formula for omega that's how this formula came what does this mean the hammer blow v equals to weight of the train upward point a hammer blow will lift your train out of the track so from that i have derived this relationship substitute all the numbers load on each wheel is 30 kilo newton so balancing mass magnitude for reciprocating mass is 89 kg radius is 0.75 on the wheel radius at which you place this balancing mass is 0.75 put everything and find a value for omega now 21.2 radius per second convert this into linear velocity i know the diameter of the train i want the kilometer per hour speed of the train that is what is asked in the question i don't want this directly as omega what is the kilometer per hour speed of the train at which it will lift up the track i know the diameter of the wheel is given as 1.8 meter okay so v equal to omega into r take this diameter of the wheel and find the r 1.8 means 0.9 is the diameter of the wheel radius of the wheel so using that to calculate the linear velocity so uh, 21.2 into 0.9 19.08 meter per second convert that into kilometer per hour 68.7 kilometer per hour if you exceed the speed of I, I believe you know how to do this conversion meter per second to kilometer per hour that you should be able to do by now i believe you understand this 1.8 where did it come from the diameter of the uh, wheels is 1.8 meter it is given in question now omega and r you find linear velocity convert this to kilometer per hour speed because it is asked in question i am doing this otherwise i will not do it 68.7 kilometer per hour is the speed at which your train will lift off the tracks okay swaying couple so for this particular speed of uh, omega equal to 21.2 radians per second what is this swaying couple for the given speed uh, that's what is asked in the question okay swaying couple formula for swaying couple equal to a into 1 minus c by root 2 into m2 m2 is a reciprocal entire reciprocating mass 300 kg not two third okay omega square r r is the crank radius okay substitute all the numbers omega equal to 21.2 radians per second uh, substitute omega into this equation so therefore a is distance between the engine center lines in this problem it is 1.75 meter if you go back to the portion of planes diagram you will know this so 1 minus c is 2 third okay 1 minus 2 by 3 divided by root 2 entire reciprocating mass is 300 kg omega is 21.1 radians okay 21.1 square crank radius is 0.3 don't put the b here small b is 0.75 that is for balancing mass positioning radius that is not to be put here this is for crank radius only you have to put here be very clear so if we solve this you will get 16,687 newton meter is the swaying couple magnitude so that completes the problem so if swaying couple is 16.687 kilo newton meter okay so this is your example problem 22.5 in kurmi textbook so that that 